You guys know what sturgeon are, right? They're uh, fish? Okay. Big fish. <laughs> a magical sturgeon. <clears throat> In the water sat a sturgeon, born there, so they say, thousands of years ago. Though the sturgeon themselves have been here for 200 million years, it was at first a little egg, a big egg, born into the river. Now the sturgeon is back, but how did it get here? How did the first sturgeon come to be? Earth and the river, moons and suns and clouds, time. Thousands of years and the sturgeon has seen it all. But what gift does the sturgeon have for us? The story of this magical sturgeon begins near our village of Squalets, where waters divide. This is a place as old as a sturgeon. How big is a sturgeon? She is well over a hundred pounds and about six feet long with old gray skin covering her still razor sharp spines, some worn down by the years of brushing the bottom of this magnificent river's bottom. Her belly is smooth white and she has black eyes. These eyes of the sturgeon love day and eyes that love the night. As the magical sturgeon swims along the shores of Squalettes, two young Kwantlen girls, sisters, push their father's dugout canoe onto the river and begin to paddle out to the middle of the river. They have come to try and spear the giant sturgeon so they may bring the fish back to their village and feed everyone for the long winter ahead. They have come to spear the sturgeon, the magical sturgeon, the one that has become legend because it cannot be caught by anyone. The magical sturgeon swims towards the dugout canoe of the two Kwantlen girls, who were told by their mother that they were to go to the river and take one sturgeon for their supper. They were also told that they were to leave something for the river. Their mother gave them two big pieces of bread and two big pieces of smoked fish. They were told to throw the bread and the fish to the river once they had taken a sturgeon. They were to throw the food to the river as an offering of thanks for the river for providing the family with a meal. The two sisters sat in their dugout canoe and dropped their spear hook into the water and let it touch the bottom of the river. They waited for the magical sturgeon to swim into the barbed hooks of the mighty spear made by their father. Morning turned into midday and into the afternoon as both sisters began to get hungry. They knew they must not eat the food offering, but they must give it to the river when the river gives them a sturgeon. They waited and waited until the older sister decided that she would eat only half of the food offering, one piece of the bread and one piece of the smoked fish. She began to eat, but the cries of her little sister were too much, so the older sister gave her the rest of the food offering. They both sat there in their father's dugout canoe in the middle of the river with their spear hook sitting on the bottom, waiting for the magical sturgeon to appear. They both sat there full bellied and sleepy when suddenly the spear hook was moving as the large sturgeon became hooked down below at the bottom of the river. Then the sturgeon took off and began to drag the canoe and the two sisters down river, further and further away from their village of Scolettes. The older sister held on as best she could, but her little sister could not hold on any longer and she fell into the river as the sturgeon began to get tired. And the older sister stood up and began to pull the spear and the sturgeon into the dugout canoe. The older sister paddled and paddled in search of her little sister, but she was gone. The older sister cried as she heard the river speak. Where is my food offering? Over and over, the older sister could hear the river's words. The older sister paddled back to their island and she walked into Squalettes with the largest sturgeon ever seen. They say it was the magical sturgeon. They say it is the one that no one could catch. Everyone was happy and sang songs and began to cut the magical sturgeon into pieces for each family of the village. Everyone was happy except the older sister who was sad because she had not offered the river the food like she was told to do and it was the river who had taken her little sister. As she sat there and cried for her little sister, a healer brought her the backbone of the magical sturgeon and told her she must bring this to the river and give it back as an offering of thanks. The older sister did what she was told to do by the healer. 
She walked down to the river and got in her dugout canoe and paddled to the exact spot that she had speared the magical sturgeon. She paddled to the exact spot where the river had taken her little sister and she tossed the mighty backbone of the largest magical sturgeon back to the river. As the bones fell to the bottom of the river, the older sister could hear her little sister's voice singing the song they always sang when they went fishing or when they went to the river to offer back the bones of the fish that they had been given by the river. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah, yo, yo, hey, hey, yeah, hey, yeah, yo, yo, hey, ah, hey, yeah, ah, hey. She could hear her little sister singing her song and when the older sister looked up from the river, there she was on the shore walking home, singing the song of thanks. The river has given her back as thanks for the offering of the bones, the bones of the magical sturgeon.